Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Virgos. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. It's the spotlight for the Virgos. How are you? We're not going to waste time because we got to do a lot of things, okay? First, let me just say, make sure you check the Glamour Crystal box. Um, you know, it's like, it's always striving, it's always giving, okay? Um, so check it out, okay? It's amazing, okay? What, we're, what we have planned for the coming holidays and whatnot, you need to be on the list. So I've already finished the prediction also for the mini mag that it comes with. So it comes with, okay? Um, with uh, the Glamour Crystal Box. Okay, so um, let me explain. Okay, so you guys know we we get the, the the elements, each zodiac that you might be dealing with. There's a little bit of a twist, Virgo. There's going to be a mini read before it goes also to the extended. So let me see here. Let's go for the water sign. So if you're dealing with a water sign, Scorpio. Okay, let's see here. So you guys know what you get, your what your what is in the extended, okay? Leo, uh, gotta be Gemini. And if you're here, okay, you can always fast forward it to the main read, okay? So there's the main read, and you guys know that I read for each uh, each of the zodiac in each element, so that uh, it connects with you more. So Hierophant with the Taurus, okay. So it might be lengthy, okay? So you guys can proceed, okay? Times up the general, the the main one, the usual, okay? So we have four decks also here, okay? So let's see here for the people for the people who's dealing with a Scorpio, Virgo is with a Scorpio, okay? Now this, all this will be continued in the extended. So I got um, similar deck basically for each, okay? So dealing with a Scorpio, Virgos, <laughs> you got a Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. So that's the main story with your Scorpio in the extent. So you guys know already the first card is the strongest. So you already know that that's the plot twist. Okay. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, this is a person that chances are you feel so drawn, heavily uh, emotional connection. Of course, there's love. And not the best, not not the bad one, not the not the worst card for the first reading. I mean, it's the best card that you could have gotten. Okay, um, of course, you know the resonance with this would vary from uh, each and every one. So that's the the main plot. First card is always strongest for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now for the people who are dealing with the Leo. Okay. With the Leo. You got a justice card. Mm -hmm. So this is a person who wants to make it right, wants to come out with the truth. Okay, this is about marriage, uh, partnership. This is about um, you know making things balance equal. So there's gonna be a decision. Okay, with a Leo. Mm -hmm. All this will be continued, like what I mentioned. Okay, these are the main energies that we would be looking at. For the Virgos dealing with a Gemini, Nine of Cups. Wow, these are tremendous. I mean, it's your time. Mm. Something about your wishing with a Gemini will unfold. Mm -hmm. If it's about the connection, the relationship, 
it's all manifesting. Something good is coming also with the Gemini. Okay? Let's go with the Hierophant. Taurus. Virgo is dealing with the Taurus. Here we go. With the Taurus, silence. Six of Swords. So, the main story there. Animosity, non-communicative, where is it going, what are we doing in this connection, why we haven't been reaching out, and yet we're, you know, it's like you guys are in the same boat. Um, the boat will be sinking soon, that's what it is, because it's, if it's not addressed, you guys can go to the, to the, you know, to the other side, mm -hmm. we need to have a more um, stable relationship, okay? And that's just the first one, okay? Mm -hmm. So... All those will get their uh, continuing reading in the extended link below. Now let's start. <laughs> Ten of Cups, Virgos. Okay, so this is your main read as always. Let me just move this here. Okay. Those are amazing cards. Well, except the Taurus. Okay. You got a Two of Cups, Justice card. It's it's like you're getting everything. Okay. Just right there. Mm -hmm. with the Virgo. Okay, Virgos. Let's see here. Got a ten of pentacles. The canticles, I call it. Pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. I mean, Virgos. <laughs> I mean, I dress up, you know, special for because it's your birthday month. Okay, we're just getting into it. We're simmering now with all this planet, finally in Virgo. Okay, something stable, something good. We've been picking up good energies for the Virgo, which is very, very amazing. Um, energetically, you are doing well. Okay, um, coins will be coming if it's not there with you yet. Whatever you're looking for, I feel it's about to manifest. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, um, emotional stability, family stability, health stability, it's basically the most stable card. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Okay. It's good. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, the AC. Ugh, it's cold. <coughs> I need to turn it off. One second, guys. Good thing I'm wearing pants. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, let me just. Sorry, Virgos. Let's go. This is you wanting to have something stable, structured. The legacy card, inheritance can be in the forefront. Having kids. Owning your pet, dogs, everything. You know, the whole shebang. The end all be all. <coughs> Excuse me. You might need to talk to someone or someone wants to talk to you. High Priestess. Well, definitely someone needs to talk. <laughs> the Silence card. This is my library card. Silence, please. Mm -hmm. So, this person does not want to communicate their feelings right now with you. They're banking that, you know, in the perfect time, you guys will, will talk again. It can be a Pisces or a Taurus. Um, this person have doubts. Is doubting, like, the reason why they're not talking is, like, they're doubting on, is this, is this the person that I want to be with? Not just the person. It's like, it's too good to be true. This is what this person is saying. It's like, it's too good to be true. And, and they remain their silence because... They have not seen someone or something with this kind of intention. Okay. So whoever you're dealing with, they're very, very much um, totally non-communicative, non-responsive, maybe even just a few words. Because there's something that they're doubting. This is, oh, see. 
Yeah, the six of pentacles. See, they only give you like a little bit, tiny bits of information, how they're doing, what they're doing in their day. Could be giving attention to other people, but I don't think so. This person is also busy with work. Like if you're a person who's already like stable with your coins, like you're good. This person is just like behind the scenes, like totally working hard. Very busy also. But you're well managed. This person is not. Mm. You got coins again. If you're waiting for a conversation with this person, they're holding back by the sense that you are the Ten of Pentacles and this person is coming to you with an offer. But after they finish whatever that Six of Pentacles is offering to other people. So if this person is busy with work, they reach out to you after, because coins is always for me, like spending time with or at work, building their finances, their future, because you're stable already here. And then you get this new beginning. This person wants a new beginning with you. But they're not talking. They're, they're hiding this. They'd rather not deal with it right now. But I feel like you will talk to this person. If you do, if you're the Page of Cups, and then the person offers the Ace of Pentacles, it's like this person wants you to make the first move. Since you are the more stable one, emotional, financial, your life is set, and their life is like they're trying to maintain their balance here, so they want you to open the door and not them. It can be a younger water sign that you're connecting with. Oh, Ace of Cups. It's your spotlight, yes. Either you're getting multiple offers here, you got Ace of Pentacles with Ace of Cups from different people, but I sense it's you or the other person, okay? Vice versa, if you're is gonna offer love. But this is about solidifying a connection, okay? From a person, like you probably haven't talked with this person for a long time, okay? And you'll be so surprised that this person wants to reach out and give to you something stable. They really work, I mean, like, they're working hard so that they can, they can offer to you their cup of love also. But overall, this is all positive. It's because the first card, I always say the first card is strongest. For others, I feel like you're, you have, like, some project behind the scenes with a high priest and a ten of pentacles. Like you're doing some work that requires a lot of time and you're not talking to other people. Like business, I priest with the Ten of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles here. Someone is investing. Can be the person you're dealing with just started a new job and they're very, very busy. It's a new job with the Ace of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Ace of Cups, someone is falling in love with you. For sure. These are... These are new energy. It's almost like you got reborn. Okay. You're stable. You've healed. And now you get multiple offers here, left and right. That's why I told you, spotlight. It's the second edition here. This water sign is in love. This earth sign is wanting you. It's like, Virgo, everybody wants you. You just have to be picky. <laughs> you pick whoever you want. If this is just one person, you win. Okay? So, I'm going to continue this reading as you get... You're going to get this. The first card is always the strongest, Virgo. I'm happy that this is your read for this monthly. Okay, for your October read. Okay, amazing. Love it. For the Scorpio, you got a Two of Cups. For the Leo, you got Justice. For the Gemini, you got Nine of Cups. For the Taurus, you got a Six of Swords. All those will be read further okay as i read this also further so basically there's five reads in in, <laughs> in this video okay i just want to be generous with 
um, you know, it's like um, uh, celebrating the 300,000 subscriber. So thank you very much. That's why I'm doing this. Um, and also check out the Glamour Box. Uh, follow me on Instagram over here. If you need anything for personal services, if it's available, it's going to be in the description box. Also, I'll see you in the other side. Um, let's see where this all goes. Arrivederci. Ciao. Buon noche. Bye. Oh, my golly. The first card is a star card. You are on the spotlight. <laughs> mm hmm Your wish, your... You have Ace of the King of Cups, which for me, okay, you're, once you do the World card, a 360, a turnaround of events happen, almost like that, okay? That's what it is here. 